little box that says up next. I got a little dingle for him. <laughs> a little dingle. Three, yeah. Two, one, go. All right. We have Palutena versus... Uh, <laughs> Dude, I just love when you have, like, Lucina do two short hop nares and uh, Palu doing, like... Two short hop bears and like they're like not even close to each other. And it's like, <laughs> oh, is this a button check? No, this is spacing. This is the neutral for them. Let's go. He's like, mm, let me make sure my buttons are real good right now. Mm, let's go. Ah, uh, all right. Now, I will say one of the cool things about these two players is you can see. I mean, Jen is pretty. Okay, Jen is also really good at ledge trapping, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'll say it a thousand times. Mr. E is one of the best ledge trappers in the world. His, like the, his ability to just cover options and react, it's absurd. It's the cornerstone of his gameplay. Uh, oh my god, he's dead. That's two stocks gone. Frozen, where are you at? Um, anyway, that's... So we... Whereas Frozen is a little bit, he's very neutral based player. Um, like that's where sort of the crux of his style lies. He, you know, he was a fantastic uh, PM player. He's been playing this game for years and his, his neutral state is just so good. Whereas, you know, Mr. E is gonna be thriving more when he actually puts Frozen in the corner. And there we have at least the first stock going down. <gasps> a very unfortunate, uh, SD from Frozen a few minutes ago is, you know, that will end up weighing down on him. Also, why did Neutral Air get the shield that tiny? Oh my. Oh. I was talking about Frozen's neutral, but his advantage state is looking pretty good right now, too. Look at those combos. He waits for the spot dodge. Beautiful patience. And now he's the one who's got Mr. E on the ledge off the stage. <gasps> oh, okay. You know, go. He did go for that real hard read at the end there, and that gave him the stage positioning that was giving him a lot. Uh, but Frozen, just the way he is, he's gonna go for that. When he feels like the time is right, he is gonna put all of his cards on the table. Oh, even if that might backfire against him, the a great pivot F tilt to catch him. And now Mr. E is in control, a grab. Just grab release, I'm not sure if that was on purpose or not. Probably just a good mash from Frozen. Dash attack doing some good damage, sending him pretty high up there. But it's going to be Mr. E closing out game one. That F tilt at max range, definitely going to do the job. And now we have to start thinking about what game two is going to look like. We see the bans on Battlefield and Town and City. I definitely agree with that. Uh, Palutena, maybe Pokemon Stadium too? Ah, called it. I swear I was in the middle of saying it before he picked it. And the reason why this stage is really good for Palu, um, platform extensions for her Nair combos, dropping off the platform with back air is pretty big. Also, just having a platform there might help him out when it comes to uh, recovering off the ledge against uh, Mr. E. But we'll see if the stage is enough. He is also going to have to adjust his play. There was that unfortunate SD, but I believe that was still a two-stop. <laughs> Mr. E's throwing out so many moves right now. He's kind of just trying to, I, I mean, I actually, it's a good idea to throw out these hitboxes that pretty much beat out a lot of what Palutena has. And just by throwing out so many of them, you know, it makes it more difficult for Frozen to position himself for with, you know, his own neutral game. That down and out of shield was so cool. Oh, that's another reason Palutena does well on this stage. Those, uh... Ledge cancels on the platform can be a huge boon for landing, especially against a player like Mr. E, where his juggle game is absolutely devastating. As we're seeing right now, a beautiful parry. He continues this devastating string. Up he had a shield, gonna continue the pressure. There's no way out of this, it feels. Finally finding a forward air in between the hits of Mr. E's neutral air, working out. Well enough for Frozen, but he still has to actually find some way to you know, turn this into an advantage. 109% is, he 
can close out the stock on Misery, especially while he's here on the ledge. The F tilt is enough. That move lasts so long, and it's going to be just what he needs. But an up tilt from Mr. E to retaliate. And now we have completely even stocks. No, but a little bit of invincibility works out for Frozen. Great SDI. Uh, as he gets the first string on this stock, too. He is still kind of taking that aggressive approach, at least in terms of spacing. Bring out a lot of these moves. Oh, what a beautiful roll through. Actually managing to roll past Mr. E's uh, ledge trap right there. Really good stuff to Frozen. Let's see if he can do it again. No, that time he, Mr. E actually covers the... Uh, yeah, just shielding at ledge is so good for uh, Lucina. Up he had a shield, I believe, can also still cover the roll. Oh, uh, mm, a dangerous counter that Mr. E went for. And that is a backfire for sure, ending this stock extremely early. And even though Mr. E completely, absolutely knew that that teleport to the ledge was coming, he was not able to punish it nonetheless. Oh, but the aggressive option is punished. Mr. E, that shielding on ledge has just been so effective. It covers so many options and just, you know, the opponent is going to get anxious. You know, they're already on the ledge. They want to, you know, that psychologically, they want to try and counterattack. It's another reason why that sort of just option can be so effective. Back here, I don't know if he has jump. Okay, he does, and he delays as long as possible. Great stuff from Mr. E, but he's now taking 91% and he's still stuck at the ledge here. Another F tilt from Frozen. This is looking really dangerous for Mr. E. Being above Palutena is also really scary now. Is that enough? Oh, I mean, we could have DI'd that a little better, but that's going to be game two for Frozen. 1-1 one, one a piece means that uh, we're moving into game three, and the winner of this gets top eight. Loser of this has to fight probably Jen and losers. I mean, probably not, but, you know, just expect it. Actually, the loser of this does face Jen. The losers, I think. <laughs> the winner of Jen and Utopian Ray. Oh. Oh, no, no, sorry. This is. That's actually the next. Loser of this would fight the winner of John Gooley and Milk. a lot more this time around. Oh. A little bit late on that up yet of shield. And up being, you know, it, it feels like Frozen's punish game has been getting cleaner and cleaner, but Mr. E, it, now when he gets a single hit, at least in this game right here, he's been getting a lot off of it. It's not so much of a, you know, oh, let me put you on ledge and then ledge trap you. Now he's been up in Frozen's face, gets that single hit and tries to Really take mileage off of it, and wow, what a ledge trump. Frozen was not ready for it. It's such a tricky option, and Mystery really does hold on to it in his back pocket for when he needs it the most. And game three is definitely where, you know, you're going to need it the most. And once again, look at all this damage, and he's actually able to... All right, the great job with that counter, recognizing Mr. E's aggression, especially after he just beat out that neutral air. He was probably going to feel pretty confident about beating out any hitbox that Frozen could throw out, forgetting, of course, that counter beats out any hitbox. He's going to back throw him off stage. He's on the ledge. Oh, that's a kind of an aggressive take to to go for that you know, drop zone neutral air. Oh! And that's another stock gone. Oh, 
Mr. E, this game three at least, has been completely brutal. My lord, he's at 160 and still it feels like Frozen has isn't able to touch him that well. Parrying a neutral air on top of it all. No recognizing Mr. E is at higher percent, so when he gets that, yeah, he was getting those those hits, but he wasn't necessarily trying to go as far with them. You know, just acknowledging that a well-timed counterattack from Frozen would end his stock. And he might as well, you know, playing careful is a fine thing to do when you're ahead by this much. Hundred eight percent on his last stock, and a fall up B is not gonna do it. Zoom in, notwithstanding, and now he's trapped at the ledge. The same story we've seen time and time again. <gasps> this set. When will it end? Is Mr. E gonna be able to clutch it, or close it out real quick? Up B is enough. There we see it, Mr. E gonna be moving on in the winner's bracket, guaranteeing himself a spot in top eight where he actually has to face off against Silvio uh, for winner's semis.